Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add plugins to your Spigot server in Minecraft 1.15.1. We're going to be going over every single step of adding plugins to your Spigot server, from downloading them to installing them on the server. Everything is going to be covered in this video step by step. Now I am assuming that you already have your Spigot server set up. You can see how to set up a Spigot server by checking out the i at the top of your screen as well as in the description down below. We have an in-depth video on setting up a Spigot server. It goes over every single part of it. It's over 20 minutes long. How to get your friends to join it. All of it is covered in that video except this, except adding plugins to that server. So we're going to be doing that in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy. And guess what? You can set up a Spigot server in under five minutes. It is super quick, super easy, and even super simple to add plugins to your Apex Minecraft Hosting server. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy, you can check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So the first thing we want to do is download some plugins. Now, if you go to the description down below, you will find this list of our top five best bucket and spigot plugins. Now, all these I'm very confident will update to Minecraft 1.15. However, not all of them are. Currently, World Edit is updated to Minecraft 1.15, which by the way, came out just like a few days ago. And we also have our MCMMO plugin here, which is updated to Minecraft 1.15.1 as well. Now, I'm sure 100% that all of these other plugins will update, but I didn't just want to install two plugins here. So we're also going to be installing the Mine Packs plugin as well that has updated to Minecraft 1.15.1. This actually might be added to our list of plugins in the future, but right now it's not on the list, but it is a very, very good plugin with nearly 1 million downloads. It's pretty good for a plugin. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and get these downloaded. The first one is MCMMO. MMO Classic. Let's go ahead and just click on that download now button and it will go ahead and download in the bottom left. We will need to keep this file. It is 100% safe to keep it um, as long as this is mcmmo.jar. You'll need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. MCMMO obviously adding in things like slash mining and uh, like mining levels and rank progression when you're doing tasks in Minecraft. In addition to the fact that it adds in awesome stuff like the Super Breaker, which allows you to mine very, very quickly, and Tree Feller to cut down an entire tree in just one click. Very, very cool there. World Edit, a very, very, very favorite plugin of uh, you know Minecraft servers. Over 20 million downloads on this one. And basically allows you to quickly replace blocks and build things and place things in Minecraft, all of that stuff. So we're gonna click on File here. Make sure that we're downloading the 1.15 version, which we are, and then just click on that gray download button. You will need to keep the file in the bottom left and save it on Mozilla Firefox. Now let's go ahead and download this one as well. Click on Files here. Again, just confirm that it is for Minecraft 1.15, which it is. Click on that purple download button there. Takes us off, or after five seconds, it will begin downloading, and then we'll be done. We will have downloaded all three of our plugins. Now, no matter what plugin you're installing, it's gonna install the exact same way. I just have to show you how you're gonna know what version it is, because it is pretty important that you know what version you are installing for this to work. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. And then our desktop, we do have MCMMO, we have World Edit, and we have Mine Packs. And these are on your desktop, they're gonna be in your downloads folder, which you can find by clicking the little Windows icon at the top or bottom left of your screen and then typing in downloads, right like so. You have this downloads file folder, click on that, and in here you'll find all your plugins. Drag them to your desktop for ease of use. Now we can go ahead and open up our Spigot server. As I said at the beginning of this video, I'm assuming you've already got your Spigot server set up. If you don't, you can check it out in the description down below to see how to do that. When you open up your Spigot server here, you will have a plugins folder, right like that. Go ahead and open that plugins folder, and then you can drag and drop all of your plugins into this plugins folder. It's that easy, boom. You have installed plugins at that point. You just drag and drop them into the plugins folder, and you are done. Now you wanna go ahead and run your server, and if we open up the plugins folder here, we'll actually be able to see these plugins installing and see their you know configuration files and everything like that generate as they install. It's a pretty cool thing and something that I do like to show here because it's very, very important that you edit these configuration files because a lot of these plugins do need that to be edited in order for you them to run how you want them to run, right? All of them will run out of, by, by default, but not all of them will run perfectly or 
exactly how you envision it in your head. It allows you to think, customize things, even how like things are said in game, like the language of the plugin and like what commands are doing and stuff like that. So as you can see, we do have World Edit MCMMO already generated there. And then very, very quickly after the world has been generated, it will go ahead and load up Mind Packs. There we go, there's Mind Packs. So nevertheless, if we open up MCMMO, we have the config here. We also have the advanced.yml and all sorts of different things. You can change the experience, for example, that you gain from different blocks. And then we go into Mind Packs, we do have the config.yml. And like I said, you can edit the language files here if you wanna change what the plugin says when you like type in a command and things like that. And then, and then World Edit does have its config as well there. Nevertheless, I'm not gonna go into configuring plugins or anything in this video, but that is how you can find the plugin configuration files. Now, if we go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15.1 here, we will be able to join into this server and I'll just show you that these plugins are installed as well as show you a quick little command to see all the plugins that your server currently has installed on it. It can be very helpful and it actually will show you if a plugin isn't working. Let's, in, let's say you installed a plugin for Minecraft 1.12 and it's not working, it'll show you that. However, we do have this issue. If you're running a local server occasionally, it will have an issue with 1.15 where it'll crash on startup. You just have to start it again and it for some reason works. I don't know why that is, but it's something that is new with 1.15 plus and I'm sure they'll eventually get fixed. But for right now, it is annoying that on startup occasionally it will just crash for no reason whatsoever because of uh, because the server is running in the background. I don't know why it does it, but it does it. Looks like I might've actually done it again here. It's just a trial and error process, everybody. It's nothing to do with the plugins or anything with this tutorial. It's just kind of one of those things where this occasionally happens with Minecraft 1.15 and there's nothing we can do about it, but try, try, try again. And eventually it will open. It is kind of funny. I don't know why this stuff can like happen, but it does. And I guess it's because, you know, the developers of, of Minecraft and Mojang aren't running servers on locally like this. They're probably running them on dedicated machines and things like that at server host. But um, yeah, there we go. See, it worked. You saw me run all of that live. Nothing changed. I did nothing except relaunch Minecraft a few times. But nevertheless, if we go ahead and click on multiplayer, we can direct connect to our server here. It's just gonna be our local IP address because this is hosted locally on our computer. And then as you can see, we have logged in over here. Now, once we are in game, you can see MCMMO is in fact installed. Now you wanna opt yourself on any server that you're gonna be doing this on. So come over to your console and do opt and then your username. That's just gonna give you all commands and things like that. That way you can test effectively. So with MCMMO, we can do like slash mining here and we'll be able to see that we do have our mining levels there. We can also do a slash excavation right there. We can do slash wood cutting, slash swords. I mean, there, there are all sorts of different, you know, MCMMO levels that you can get there. And then we also have mine packs installed, which allows us to do slash backpack, for example. And then we can put things in our backpack there. Um, depending on your configuration, by the way, you can have things automatically go into the backpack. So that's pretty cool. And then we do also have world edit in game. So we can do slash slash wand, right like so. And then let's say, you know, just cut out this right here. So we just want to do slash slash cut. And then we can do slash slash set diamond Bam, there we go. I don't know, but that's proof that World Edit is installed. However, how do you see what plugins are installed on your Minecraft server? Well, you can just do slash PL. So slash PL and hit enter, and it's going to show you the plugins. You can also just do slash plugins, and it'll show you all the plugins we have installed. You can see World Edit, MCMMO, and Mind Packs. They're all green because they're all updated and working perfectly fine. A green plugin is working. Doesn't mean it won't have errors and can't have issues. It just is overall enabled and should be working. And um, any red plugins or yellow plugins aren't, you know, could have different things wrong with them. So there you have that. That is how you can add plugins to your Spigot server in Minecraft 1.15.1. If you have any questions about adding plugins to your Spigot server, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your new plugins. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching and I am out. Peace.